hello and good oh sorry about that um i will say good afternoon but it's literally like one minute to to noon so i'll say good morning for now and then when it turns over to noon i'll say good afternoon uh, which will be momentarily anyways i'm here with a sparkly things video and today is a bit of a mad one i have got some bonkers bits of jewelry in here that i hope you like and also some things where i'm like uh, why does it do that then? And maybe we can all share the hive mind and uh, figure out why some things are the way they are. Mm, I've got some Raspberry Pepsi Max with me. Rather lovely. It is now the afternoon, so good afternoon. And here's um, the first of the things where I'm like, oh, what's that then? It's these. Or at least I have actually just, like literally in the last few minutes, worked out what they are so these are as you can tell earring backs but i was like why have they got these hearts on them why are they so big and why have they got these hearts on them well these are all sterling silver by the way so like silver gold for me rose gold for me well what i have discovered is that these are for when you're wearing really heavy earrings because you know when you're wearing little ones and it pulls it down well, like the earring back tends to go like that, but that is like a safety thing. So imagine that's the back of your ear. So it doesn't push down. It stays like that. Magic. So these are for heavy earrings. There we go. See, every day's school day, huh? So that's um, a set of those. Um, other things that just wouldn't fit in the box right now. So yesterday, Oh, the day before. It was the day before, Tuesday, yes. Went to a place called Holt in Norfolk where my friend Nia had um, a job interview and with all the will in the world, I hope that she doesn't get it because it's quite far away. Although the town of Holt is absolutely lovely. Like, really, really pretty. So many antique shops and gift shops and lovely artisan food shops and bakeries and all of the really like ceilings are really low and doorways and stuff but it's super cute anyways i found these in one of the charity shops 15 pounds the charity shops aren't uh cheap but as you can see they're cufflinks in a brutalist style they probably are like actually from oh I, no tell a lie it was 12 pounds there we go joust yurko josie josie yurko I don't know. But anyways, yeah, very brutalist in style, aren't they? Um, it's just stamped 925. There are no other hallmarks on them. But I just thought they were completely bonkers. And so, for £12, I thought they were 15 but for £12, yeah, I had them. So, I'll probably be listing them over on my Etsy store at some point. I mean, don't expect that by the time this video is out that they will be there because things can languish in my death pile for, for months, if not years sometimes. <laughs> and then the other mad thing, I got this the other day, 50 pence I think it cost. Did I show it? I might have shown it because I think we were deciding whether it said um, a name in there, but I just thought maybe I'll show it again actually because I absolutely bloody love it. It is bonkers. I might have just shown it in like a uh, day in the life like video, but I don't think I've shown it close up. Look how utterly mad and really super heavy like this thing is. I think it's designer, see? This is not just like splattered, you know, painted on. Like you can, you can feel it. it. It's designed that way, if you see what I mean. So cool. And then that's where I thought, I don't know if you could see, ticks, tixy, tixel, but then I might just be dreaming that. Pixie, Trixie, don't know. I love it anyway. It's super cool. But um, that's gonna have to sit off to the side because there are so many treasures in here. It's gonna fill the place up. In the background, by the way, we've got a vintage Christmas by a cozy fireplace. So this is again Nemo's Dreamscapes. This is what's playing right now. Um, a little bit of slightly Christmassy music, only slightly because we're still only in November, but I know people are thinking, 
obviously about what to get for Christmas, what they're going to wear for Christmas, those kind of things. And I think Christmas is a time when you can just wear bling and it doesn't matter. And it doesn't have to be real bling, it doesn't have to be real diamonds, it doesn't have to be real gold. As long as it's something like fabulous and sparkly in statement, it's all gravy. So I've been picking up um, gold tone and gold plated chains that I thought were unusual. So I've got these three here that I really liked. Again, this is almost kind of brutalist in style. It's very strange shape link that nice and articulated. Isn't that very cool? So we like that one. And then this one is just an unusual like, flat link. This is a gold tone one, I think, rather than gold plated. Because, I don't know, maybe it just needs to shine up. Yeah, only because, like, on there is a little bit worn. But that's a fab chain. And then this one is probably my favourite. Because it looks a bit like coffee beans. And I tell you what, if you wouldn't know, you would think it felt like gold. It feels quite nice and buttery soft. But how you can tell, obviously, because it's not gold. But also because, like, the links aren't soldered. Which on gold it probably would be. And the weight would be different. But, yeah, just thought really nice chains. So some nice goldy looking chains there. Goldy looking chains. This I also got the other day when I was in Holt. The lady in the charity shop, I mean, this was priced at five pounds and the lady in the charity shop was like, oh, you got a real bargain there. Like, I know, I know, it's good, isn't it? It's good. I think she was kind of hinting for me to spend more money. And uh, to be fair, I, I tried to spend as much as I could. I spent 40 something pounds. Um, so, you know, she got a few pennies out of me. But aren't these stones absolutely lovely? They're like cubed, cubed tiger's eye. Quite possibly handmade like so someone's bought these beads possibly off you know like the jewelry channel or something and uh they've constructed this themselves hand knotted in between really nice and weighty proper lovely yay um, where did i get these from let me think where i've been in the last few weeks this might have been from when i went to puff call the other day this is a copper bangle, and um, see a little bit of oxidization there, but it's in this very um, Victorian belt style, and it is adjustable, as you can see. That's quite cool, isn't it? All this fab embossing of shamrocks, by the looks of it. I can't see any stamps to say maker. I would assume that it, this is reasonably old. Obviously not actually Victorian, but like Victorian revival. But I just really enjoy that. I thought that was super unusual. Very autumnal as well. Quite the statement in, like if that was shone up like to proper copper. I wonder if, um, like I don't have any copper cleaning stuff. Um, I've never actually cleaned copper, I don't know. What it would take, a bit of brasso or something? I've got no idea. I'm sure my mum would know. Same trip out, I bought these. Aren't they superb? Clip-on earrings. That one just needs a bit of twisting back round into place. Or gluing back in the right place. But aren't they superb? Like, almost like Venetian masks. They look a little bit evil, don't they? I mean, they're smiling. But like, still a bit evil, but fun. I like them. A bit weird. Very 80s, aren't they? Kind of cool. Bit more brutalism here. I don't normally just pick up, um, you know, plain-ish sort of chains. I like ones that obviously have something a bit different about them. This just looks so industrial. See the interesting like silver tone chain with then the gold tone wrapped around it. I thought that was completely bizarre. I don't think I've really seen one like that. I've seen obviously like red and silver like cord together and things like that, but not metals done like that. 
It's not silver, it's just silver tone and gold tone. But really freaking weird, aren't they? Weird chains. And another one that was a bit weird. Kind of hard to take this because they had it hanging up with the Clears accessory stuff. And I'm like, this isn't Clears accessory, surely. There's no clasp on it, so I can't really tell. But this definitely looks like a brushed bit of stainless steel. See, no dates, no marks, nothing like that. But again, a bit modernist in style, a bit 1970s medallion. A weird one anyway. I certainly wouldn't put it down to being a bit of Claire's accessories. At least I hope not. Or if it if it is Claire's accessories, then well done them for um, actually doing something a bit, you know, retro and weird. Uh, yes, it is December coming up. So as we know, the star sign of our Lord Jesus Christ is Capricorn. So what is he then? Well, he's the Messiah. He's the son of God. No, what star sign is he? Well, well Capricorn. Oh. Yeah, anyway, that's that's from the life of Brian. But yeah, I picked this up the other day. Little, um, what are they call like, he's a goat fish. He's a goat fish. No, 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 no. Um... But yeah, just, I figure someone, there's, there's, you know, roughly a certain percentage, one twelfth of the population really should be Capricorn, I'm guessing, ish. So someone out there will like that. Nice bit of, little bit of enamel and a bit of enamel here as well. These are modern, but I picked them up because they're, cause they're red and flowery and I just thought they were quite nice. I don't even think they've been used but quite pretty, possibly gold plated, but more likely gold tone. I was hoping that they would be uh, actual gold, but you know, you wouldn't enamel onto gold because it would be a waste of gold. Um, right, I've got a, a few more bits of fabulous bling that are not gold, but are suitable definitely for Christmas wear. Now, I really like this. I'm thinking that that might be Lab Creative Ruby. And there is a way to test that. And that is if only I had to hand my um, torch. Where is it? There it is. This is my UV torch. And if we shine it on that, if it's Lab Created Ruby, it would shine pink. Like glow pink. That's quite a possibility. That certainly looks like it to me. So that's cool. Lab Created Rubies and then probably Cubic Zirconias. Just in a gold tone. Again, I don't think this is gold plated, but super lovely chain. Like that with a cocktail dress, of wearing for your, your Christmas dinner. Not for your Christmas dinner. Don't eat it. But I think that's absolutely lush. And then I got another in a similar vein as well. These look like tanzanites. Tanzanites don't do anything. Um, but how Art Deco is that? And the silver and these fake tanzanite stones. Absolutely lush. So someone, Christmas Day, should enjoy wearing those because I think they're really lovely. Right, more faux stuff. Just a couple of bits of faux and then we'll get into the the precious -y metals. So this is nice. I would bet any money that these are probably Swarovski crystals in here, but there's no swan. So obviously I can't sell them as being Swarovski crystals, but lovely AB coated bezel set stones in this lovely um, London blue topaz color. And then the AB crystals, really super pretty. Very nice, lovely for party. Party season. Okay. Couple more bits of faux. Do you want to see some rings? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. So I've got some ace rings here. These two are by Monet. 
Monet. Again, fab purple stones there. There is a little bit of oxidization of the copper underneath the silver plate. So I will try and polish them up a bit and try and get a little bit of the oxidization off. Hive mind, what do you think? What would you use to do that? Um, some people say ketchup because of the, um, what's in it? The vinegar content of it. And I suppose as well, red opposite green on the color wheel, isn't it? Maybe cancels out or something. I don't know. What do you think? Next one is this cute little M&S ring. Um, I've sold Marks and Spencer's stuff before, like brand new. So this is probably gold and platinum plated. With a bit of cubic zirconia in there. But I like the floral cluster and I like that it's just a little bit like a snowflake as well. Cute. Someone will like wearing it. It is a smallish size. I would say probably about an L. K or an L. But it's a cutie, isn't it? Cutie patootie. And then this one's just fabulous. And I absolutely love it. Proper 1960s cocktail ring. Glass stones. Faux pearls. Oh, isn't that just lush? I love that colour green. It's so beautiful. Oh, yes. Make them jealous, ladies. Make them jealous. Absolutely. We've got a little um, bit of personalization stuff here as well. So this is calling out to those who have these names. Because why not? So we are looking for, and please do say hello in the comments box underneath if this is your name. We're looking for a Geraldine. Hello, Geraldine. That's on a little bit of faux mother of pearl there. And we're also looking for Connie, C-O-N-N-Y, on this lovely little sterling silver bracelet. So if anybody wants a personalised gift for a Geraldine or Connie in their lives, well, there you go. Got a couple more faux bits here, which are quite cool. I picked up these the other day. These are some um, just little faux opals, probably opal triplets, as in there'll be um, a layer of uh, probably black onyx underneath and then very, very thin layer of the opal and then covered in quartz crystal. And then these look like they're probably gold plated. There's no marks on them, but they're lovely and they kind of sparkle a bit in the light as they should. Very cute. A couple of uh, just plastic rings that I bought together, but they've got this lovely kind of smoky, sort of Bakelite, bit of amber looking, kind of unusual, bit 1970s again. A lot of fun. Right. Oh, yes. Okay, hive mind. Do we recognize these? So I want to say Celtic, but Celtic fish, Maori, Icelandic, I don't know, but they're bizarre, aren't they? I think they're pewter rather than silver, but so bizarre. Or are they dragon's head? I think they're definitely fish, aren't they? Because that's the fin and then that's the tail there. But yeah. Where would you say they were from? Hive mind, do your thing. I have lots of faces down there. Odd ones. Oh, she's pretty. So we've got another pretty face here. Now I would have said that she would have been Art Nouveau if it wasn't for the stars in her hair. Because that feels to me more like a modern thing that you would do. If it was Art Nouveau, I'd presume more like flowers and leaves and things. But she's got a lovely face. Although her hair's going to be a right tangled mess. She's a little bit windswept, isn't she? Bless her. No marks on her other than like the 925. 
which I can't remember where that is. It's probably on there somewhere. But yeah, she hasn't got proper hollow marks, so I don't know who she's from, where she was made. But she's lovely, and she's going to sit right there. Cute little brooch. Um, okay, do you want to see something really bonkers? Right, let's get him out. Look at that. Absolutely crazy. This bizarre, beautiful shirt. I don't know which side I prefer, actually. Like the very mathematical spiral. Or the beautiful shell side with this like abalone in there. Is it abalone? Is this where it comes from? But look, it's so organic looking, isn't it? And then I love this decoration on here. Stamp 925 and then it's got this lovely little Balinese style bale. Now I've actually got two of these. This is on the longer chain and I've got one on a slightly shorter chain. It's absolutely stunning. I think hollow inside. Well, I suppose it would be a shell, isn't it? Something lived in it. But absolutely bonkers. That's just mesmerizing, isn't it? Like, <laughs> Don't look at it too long, kids. You'll get drawn in. Very fancy though. <laughs> This was a fun little find. So, first look, just like a little blink bracelet. And then actually, it's little threepences. How cute is that? So someone has drilled all of these threepences from different dates. So 1921, 1932, 34, 35, 1920, 36, um, 1900. 36, 18. So some, if not all of these, will also be sterling silver. There is a certain date where like they will be. So I'm pretty sure I've had before like early 1900s and like a 1922 and stuff. I'm not sure about like the ones say like the 1936, but how cool is that though? Like a little bit of history and coins. Lovely. Oh. We'll put him next to Corin Connie and Geraldine. <laughs> I can't wait to show you the, the matching necklace and bracelet in a bit, but uh, that's coming. Oh, another bit of faux sparkle. And then a question for the hive mind afterwards. Look at that. I bought that. Cost me three pound. It's a newish brooch. I never spend that much on a newish brooch. But I thought that is so lovely and icy. Icy blue. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Sorry. Just, you know, you know me. Distracted by the, the sparkliness of things. Right. Hive mind. Now, I understand why these are the way they are. But I'd like to know sort of when they were from. So we've got the pair of dangly earrings with a screw back. Proper, proper screw. Now I've only ever seen these on really, really, really old earrings, like Victorian, pre-Victorian ones. Look at that lovely bright blue stone in there. But I've never seen it on ones that actually look quite modern. You see? Like with that little ring and then the chain drop and the blue stone. Now, there's no hallmarks as such. There's just a 925 stamp there. So I'm wondering whether they might be like foreign, but I don't know. Have you ever seen anything like that? They're bizarre and I quite like them. Possibly keepers, but I'm not sure about screwing them like on. But then I suppose you'll never lose them them next to the blue here. They really are quite strikingly blue. I might test the stones just in case. You never know. You never know. This has got a lovely stone in it. Nice little bit of 
Are we saying turquoise? Because it's got some more like solar-like kind of um, bits in there. You know, we have like the gold in there. But absolutely lovely colour, isn't it? So Celtic in style. It has got full UK hallmarks on it, I think. Well, there are definitely full hallmarks there. But lovely bangle. Let's try it on, shall we? Always quite difficult to do some bangles up, hook on. There we go. That's quite nice, that, isn't it? Not my style, even though I am Celtic. Um, just not my kind of thing. I prefer Viking-y stuff and brutalist and, you know, more monstrous things. Organic things. Oh, okay, you're speaking of monsters. Then. What on earth is this? <laughs> Another bit of sterling silver, but I don't know which way it is. I mean, obviously it has to dangle that way, but it looks like a dragon with a long tail, maybe. Or if it's this way, it looks a bit like a road runner chasing a flower. There are no marks other than the 925 on the back. But ain't that weird? What do you think, Hive Mind? What could it be? It's mad, whatever it is. Mad. Fancy another brooch? Go on then. Because we haven't had many brooches so far. We've only had the one. But this one's rather lovely, I think. A bit of Carlinian, Carnelian in the middle. And this sort of um, Celtic-ish design, Scottish design, but I'm thinking must be a kilt or sash pin because see the way the pin is constructed there where it goes out and then back in, as in like that perhaps has to go through quite a lot of material. What do you think? Scottish or Irish? It's lovely, in sterling silver again, but just stamp 925, no full hallmarks. So it might not be particularly old, or it might be really, really old. I love this stone as well. It's got like slight striping in it. Don't know if you can see that. Awesome. But yeah, just unusual the shape of that pin, isn't it? Um, okay, some cute earrings. Christmassy style earrings. Can I find the other one? Yes, I can. Here we go. So sterling silver. And I know they're technically flowers, but again, it could also pass as snowflakes. They're lovely little, just stud, but you know, drop down. I thought very Christmassy. I don't think there's a stone in, no, there's no stone in the middle, just these like baguette cut ones. Cute. Lots of snowflakey type things going on. Okay, bargain find. I got for 50p from a rummage bin. It was black as anything, as you can still see. Black, black, black. But I managed to clean it mostly off. You might recognize that as being a Macintosh rose. And then these are the initials that you're sometimes looking out for. It's KH and that's Kit Heath. This is Kit Heath 02, so this is from 2002, so just makes it as vintage. Um, but yeah, a nice bit of sterling silver. Didn't look like this when I first got it. Honestly, it was black as anything. And that's probably why they put it in the 50p rummage bin. But, uh, you know, that's why you keep an eye out for things like that, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. So a nice bit of signed silver there. There is a signed bit of silver as my last bit, and it is my find of the week. But in the meantime, I shall show you the matching ring and necklace that I was on about earlier. Because it's very similar to that. But just a little aversion. How cute. Aren't they gorgeous? So matching necklace. So little aversion. 
with ring an adjustable ring as well i love that now my mate nia was looking for a new ring because she went and broke hers the other day from lifting barrels in the pub because she's so burly for a slight girl and i was like you can't have that one i'm afraid because you will smash it because it's so delicate so i gave her a malachite one instead um, malachite is also quite delicate but the way that it was like a set she should be okay with it whereas this one she would definitely smash because it's only shell bless it but isn't it super cute absolutely lush so i would probably sell them as a set together because it seems seems a shame to split them up you know you know me i don't like breaking things up another lovely ring and Yes, it's in my, that's top five. So this is also top five of the week. There's three more bits after this. This gorgeous vine and flower ring, like proper extends down the finger, doesn't it? That looks so cool. Imagine if you had one on any every finger, that would be lush. So yeah, I super like that, but it would, unfortunately, it would annoy me because um, I would just be so aware of it all the time. I like to put things on and forget about them. But I just think it's really pretty and I'm kind of jealous of someone who can wear that. But there we go. Okay. Third favourite thing. So, you know, um, a little while ago I had a little, what looked like a stash box that actually ended up being a... Um, a completely used up perfume container so it was a little round box and it would have like uh with gemstones on like turquoise and it would have had yeah either a uh, lip gloss or perfume in it probably perfume and i called it a stash box um just for lols but i found another one even better one because this one is sterling silver and guilloche enamel and isn't that super pretty so i don't know where from i don't think particularly old i think it's probably made like say india or somewhere stamp 925 in there very shiny on the inside and quite matted um on the outside well not matted you know what i mean blackened oxidized but i'm sure we'll probably polish up quite nicely I should imagine maybe with a bit more elbow grease but I think that's absolutely gorgeous again loving that colour blue and the cute little flower in it and I like that it's two sided as well gorgeous okay so my two favourite things so we've got this one so this is a um, bit of Millefiori. Look, all the tiny little glass cane flowers pressed together. Just beautiful. And this is in gold for May, so gold over sterling silver. It is stamped as well. And it is stamped 925. It's probably made in Italy, I should imagine. I'll see if I can find a chain for it. I might have a Vermeer chain, I'm not sure. They're quite hard to find just Vermeer chains on their own, but it'd be worth it. If not, I can just sell it on its own. It can, you know, it'll sell on its own. It's fine. Okay, and my favorite find of the week, and what I find it is, is this. Gorgeous, gorgeous. They look like horses, don't they? Or swan necks. But this is by an artist called Ola Gori, G-O-R-I-E. Um, and she still makes and designs uh, jewellery today. And some of the designs are in the hundreds. In fact, I've looked this one up. This is a Finnish design, I think. And this brand new is £200. So I was very chuffed. To find this but i think i paid like eight pounds for it it is signed um og on the back but it, it her stuff can also be signed omg which is kind of good fun 
Um, but this one is signed OG, I think, and then 95. But what a lovely design that is. So crossover between, like, it looks quite Celtic, but it's actually like Finnish. Absolutely lovely. So well chuffed to find that. Um, probably be going on my Etsy store at some point, I should imagine. I've had a few bits of Olegori. Um, one of which I didn't realise and I undersold it, unfortunately, but never mind. Someone was very pleased with the um, bargain, but that's okay. Um, because now I know to look out for it. And so now I very much do. <laughs> so there we go. I think that's everything. Yeah, we've got the cufflinks there as well. And the, that and the, that. Yay, that bonkers thing. So if there is something here that you have fancied that you might like as a gift for Geraldine or Connie or for yourself, a Capricorn or someone that really likes Macintosh or faces or sparkly things for Christmas, then please do email me on the email address that's in the um, link underneath the screen here, underneath the video. Email me and I shall get back to you. Uh, yay! So, until next time, bye-bye now. Bye-bye.